The House of Representatives has criticized the new policy introduced by the Central Bank of Nigeria, which among others sets limits to cash withdrawals at the deposit money banks and other financial institutions. At the plenary, lawmaker Mr. Liu Magaji, who moved a motion of urgent public importance, warned that the new policy could spell doom for the economy as several people will lose their jobs while traders, artisans and uh, rural dwellers will suffer because of the cash limits. Several lawmakers warn that the policy will have serious consequences and adverse effects on businesses and Nigerians who have no access to the banking system. The new policy rolled out by Central Bank of Nigeria will definitely have a negative impact on the already dwindling economy and further weaken the value of, Niger of, of, value of Nigerians and Nigeria and Nigerians may resort to using dollars and other currencies as means of trading and thus further devalue the Naira and which is the economy. The House Resort 1 to invite the CBN governor to come and brief the House on all this kind of all this policy he has been bringing out in the last one month. Two, to add the central bank to receive this decision, the said policy because of his disadvantage, as earlier as earlier said. Three, to add Central Bank Nigeria to do more advocacy, enlightenment as intervention before this, 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 this uh, policy is, is, is rolled out. Three, four, the agent of the to give much more than one year notices in any case of any plan issue of such, such similar notices that may touch directly or indirectly to the small business owners in Nigeria. Thousands, sir, thousands of Nigerians now have come to live and do businesses through the POS is going completely with the introduction of this. And I can't understand how Nigerians will be able to manage our businesses that is dominantly in cash. Truly speaking, we should search our books and impose necessary legislative to ensure that we are it. If we have no powers, we can look at the powers of the civilian itself and see how we can divest the excess powers they have. My mother was and you discuss the issue of this policy with now. Before Did you discuss the issue of the CBM policy with them? We are very passionate about it. It has nothing to do with CBM. Yeah. We should do cashless. And I support it. Okay. My mother was affected. A 93, four-year-old woman I, was kidnapped. I, and they requested I know your I know your mother very well. I'm shocked to hear that. I'm sorry to and hear that. She was amputated as a result of that. I'm so sorry so to I hear that. So I support it wholeheartedly. Okay. But we should go cashless. Okay. Uh, thank you for the reference to the strategic provisions. Section um, 8, sub 4 and sub 5 of the CBN Act. Um, uh, I guess that works in tandem with the resolution anyway. And um, I guess if, we, if the resolution carries a day, we'll, um, we'll also be referencing those statutory provisions when the clerk writes for uh, the formal invitation to the CBN government. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.